lot rent under $300 a month in a community where community living is as it used to be, in a vibrant city with nearby beaches, is there such a 55 plus community today? Stay tuned. I kept hearing rumors of a nearby affordable Florida mobile home park. It turned out to be a step back in history where lot rents were low, community pride was high, and the community was immaculate. Not only were there homes available, but empty lots upon which you could put your own home as well. Join me in a tour of a community that is both how it once was and how many think it ought to be. Following the tour, we'll talk about the homes available, lots available, and the incredibly low lot rent in this community. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. While you're watching, make sure to use the comments section below to ask any questions or express any thoughts you might have on this community. The park is located in Melbourne on Florida's east coast. With easy access to major highways, it's about an hour to Orlando. It's also a quick run to Daytona International Speedway if you're a race fan. The city of Melbourne has a historic downtown section that is home to one of my favorite restaurants, Meg O'Malley's Irish Pub. There are many venues for entertainment, including the city auditorium. The Brevard Zoo provides entertainment for young and old alike and is a great place to bring the grandkids. Pristine Atlantic beaches are only five miles away, offering not only a refreshing dip, but surf fishing too. Nearby are hospitals and expert medical care shopping malls and specialty stores, and many, many choices in fine dining. Melbourne, with a population of over 80,000, has everything you expect from a sophisticated city. The park is located just south of the Melbourne Municipal Airport. During World War II, it was a naval air station dedicated to training fighter pilots. It closed in 1946. The community is listed at 759 lots by DBPR. It appears to have an older section of greater density and several newer sections. Entering the park is unremarkable. In fact, it looks like many manufactured home communities I have visited. There are both newer and older homes intermixed. Heading toward the community center, we see a bocce court, a covered picnic area, and it's sure clear this community enjoys shuffleboard in a big way, but for me, a nice barbecue in that picnic area would make my day. The community center roof line is a clue it is the only building remaining from the original air station. It houses the park offices, a rec hall, library, fitness center, and other resources. Touring through the newer section, we see double wides mixed with single wides. Some of these are the same manufactured homes found in a large number of communities that were built in the 80s and 90s. Some may be newer than that. The additions and improvements seen are what I found remarkable. Basic single-wide mobile homes have been added to, and in some cases, the mobile home is the smaller part of the overall structure. These are not bolt-on carports or screen porches. These are custom-built additions that add hugely to the fully livable space in the home. 
the ingenuity seen here is really quite incredible. Some actually integrate the original mobile home into an entirely new structure. Some of these mobile homes are truly classics from an earlier era. Occasionally, you'll see one where the original hitch remains on the chassis and has been decorated. The pride in these homes is also evident in their care and landscaping. Now we will move into the older section where lot sizes aren't quite so big. Entering the older sections, we notice the density of home increases. Roads between these homes are one lane necessitating cooperation among residents. Nonetheless, things are neat and have a bohemian kind of look. The variety of additions from porches to carports and screen rooms and patios is just astounding. The condition of these older homes is remarkable as well. Even the landscaping is quite eclectic. Some of these homes are absolute classics and are highly sought after in this condition. This is an astonishing community, even more so when we get to the costs, which we will do in a minute. The diversity of homes from the 60s or 70s all the way to modern manufactured homes is amazing. Equally impressive is how well these homes are maintained and how nice this community looks. It is a tribute to both the residents and the management team. I'm sure it's a source of pride as well. About the only thing missing from this community found in others of this size would be a swimming pool. I don't think that's much of a loss given the nearby beaches. Now let's look at the lot rents and what's available. Lot rents in this park are divided into three categories with a few exceptions in between. The $10 surcharge for capital improvements ceases once they are paid off. I'm sure rents go up a small amount every year. That said, at under 300 a month, this is the cheapest manufactured home community I'm aware of in Florida. I looked at the listings on the park website. The link is in the description below. The idea of an empty lot on which you could place a new home that you can finance through a dealer seemed intriguing, especially at these lot rents. I hope you enjoyed your tour of Tropical Haven as much as I did. It is one of the most fascinating collections of mobile and manufactured homes I have seen in one park. Community pride was evident everywhere. This is one of the few parks still affordable
to seniors on fixed and limited incomes. If community living interests you, I suggest you review my other videos and see if a manufactured housing community will meet your needs. Just click on the channel title below or my picture. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. That really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.